Hello, everybody. Everything's working, I think. Welcome to the stream today. <laughs> Everyone's spamming. Christian Passer, um, Rock. Welcome, everyone. Aaron Pack, Ray, some guy I don't know. Welcome, everyone, to today's stream. So, today, you guys uh, get to pick what, what we're gonna do. So, really, we can do whatever. Like, I mean, the title says we're gonna make stuff, but we could break stuff, too. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, we're playing Universe Sandbox. Can you terraform Eris, realistically? Make a solar system with a black hole. We did try that a couple times, a couple streams ago. Mason Weston, remember me? I do. Thank you for the donation. Finally got KSP2. KSP2's been fun. Um, when it works, it's fun. Make Wasp 12B. That's actually in the game, I think. Already. It does. It's not shaped like it is in Space Engine, because they don't have... Um... They don't have, like, the physics to do that yet. Thank you for the donation. I think you do wasp-12b. Oh, is it not? They have wasp-12ab? What? Well, there's a planet. It looks like it, right? <laughs> Make a new galaxy. Can you combine a black hole and a white hole? Yeah, let's try that. Um, so if you didn't see my video where I made a white hole, basically what we did is we got a white hole. So here's a, um, a black hole, same size as the sun. So just as much um, gravity. Is J1407B in the game? It is, but you have to add the rings manually. Like it doesn't have the rings by itself. And then what we did is we did negative mass. So now it's pushing stuff out and then you can just change it to white. So now it'll shoot stuff out if we put anything next to it, like mercury. I mean, you can see how small black holes are, but yeah, mercury out. You can see it immediately got shot away. Make a four star system, that'd be hard, but we could. Um, so, to get a black hole to suck it up, if we just put a normal black hole, I wonder what I, what would actually happen. Oh. It's because, like, this one's trying to suck in and this one's pushing away. So we need, like, a super massive one. Yeah, what would happen if we do a hundred solar masses one? Slow down time. Will it still suck it in even though the white hole is trying to push away? But will it not? Maybe it's going too fast. Okay, wait, I'm gonna save this as white hole. And then we can enter a new simulation. Make Mars have rings? That'd actually be cool, let's do that after this. We could try to explode Phobos or Deimos and see if it like turns into rings. Okay, white hole. I think it might have saved one of those already. Okay, white hole here. So we're gonna try to get it to be sucked in by a black hole that is a hundred times more massive. Oh, it's that much bigger? Okay. Will it or will it still? Okay, well something happened. Ah, it ate it. Okay, success with the black hole. <laughs> okay, let's open the solar system and let's do some stuff in there. Make a moon that's orbiting Venus. We could give Venus a moon. That'd be cool. Okay, so someone said give Mars rings. So I'm actually going to make sure that it has its moons on there. Oh, we got a donation. Cat909, make a super Neptune, which has a super Triton orbiting it. Ooh, other habitable moon. Okay, yeah, we'll do that right after this. Thank you for the, that donation. 
So we're gonna go actions and then add moons. So this will put Phobos and Deimos in orbit now around Mars. Uh, let's turn on orbits. And let's just try to explode Phobos and then see if it turns into rings. Boom. Okay, so it exploded. Um, all these fragments should start to come out. Maybe. If there are any. Oh, does it just disappear? <laughs> we'll just, uh, we can just manually add rings, I guess. Oh, you know what would actually be better, I think? If we put Phobos... Where is it? I want to let me do it. If you put it close enough here, we'll do it with Deimos. That the Rosh limit destroys it. That might give it rings. Like this, so it gets destroyed by Mars. Thank you for that donation again. Oh, I wasn't focused on it. Did it get destroyed? Oh, it looks like it's starting to. Maybe. Can you make the sun a planet and any planet the sun? <laughs> okay, we'll do that too. Okay, so our first suggestion that we had uh, was Super Neptune, which has a Super Triton orbiting it. So let's find Neptune. And let's make sure it has its moons on. Add those. Okay, so. Triton is right here. Thank you again for that donation. So if we want to do a Super Neptune, uh, let's make it bigger. Let's see if Triton, let's like make it big enough to swallow these, but let's see if it'll keep Triton in orbit. So let's just turn up the mass on it, or the radius, let's do radius. Enough to swallow all of those moons whole. Boom. Okay. So now this is very big Neptune. Neptune's ten times more massive than Jupiter now. And then we're going to take Triton and then click auto orbit. And then it should stay in orbit. Auto orbit. Boom. Okay. So let's see what happens now. Triton's still in orbit. And. And its other moons look like they get shot away. Combine all the asteroids. That would take forever. There's like a billion in the game. Asteroids. Like all of... It doesn't even show them all. You can search them. I think it goes by year. So if you go like 2014. Yeah. It'll show everything they discovered in 2014. That would take forever. So let's turn on the flashlight so we can see. Okay. Super... Uh, super Neptune. Um, and... I think they said make Triton habitable, and it's close enough to Super Neptune now that it should be getting tidally heated. So let's name this one Super Neptune. Super Neptune. And then for Triton, I'm going to set the temperature to 15 and then see if it goes up or down or stays the same. This one's heating up, but this one... I think it might be heating up. Or very slowly slowing down. Or cooling down. So let's make it a little bit closer just on one of the sides. Just like that should be fine. Oh, well that's heating it up. Oh, it's too much. It's breaking it. No. We don't want that. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. Wait, we need to change. Okay. I'm. I know orbital mechanics. I swear. I played KSP. Foolsy, thank you for the donation. So if we're on this side, then we make it smaller. Wait, I want it. Why is this so hard? Okay, let's just set it here and then set it to auto orbit. Boom. Okay. Thank you for the donation. So, now we want to make this habitable. I think it's still pretty hot. Yeah, we're going to set it to 15. 
and then we're gonna add an atmosphere. And then adjust some of the like the thickness on that. Give it like a light blue instead of a instead of black. And I need some water too. Sea level. Oh yeah, just fill in like those valleys and stuff. That looks cool. Here we go. Uh oh, it's shooting water off. I think we have to add a little bit of hydrogen. Terraform a black hole? How would you even do that? Okay, looks good to me. Yeah, that's extra. It's not shooting anything off right now. So, let's add clouds now. Beautiful. And vegetation. Beautiful. Okay, and let's check our habitability percentage. 14.7. So I think we can make it a little higher if we change our rotational period to one day. 21.3. That's good enough. Wow, your chat's a lot more active. Yeah, we got 350 people here. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming. Basically, we're just doing your guys' suggestions. Um, so yeah, I'm going through some of the donator suggestions right now, but you guys keep suggesting things and we might do it after. So we got Super Neptune and Super Triton. Oh, I guess we need to make Triton a little bigger then, if we want it to be super, right? And then that'll help with the tidal heating, actually. Yeah, it's heating up a little bit. Let's turn our sea level better. Beautiful. Let's add city lights, too. Because this is a flashlight, so realistically it's going to be super dark out here. The sun doesn't reach out here very well. But now we have some city lights. Let's name it Super Triton. Super Neptune and Super Triton. Beautiful. Is there a giveaway? Yes. Um, let's see. What are we at right now for likes? It hasn't refreshed. Once we get, let's go 400, no, no, 500 likes. <laughs> Once the stream gets 500 likes, we'll do a, um, a giveaway for Universe Sandbox on my Discord. Okay, so next uh, donation, let's see. What did we have? Oh, we got Cat909, make the largest gas giant ever, add custom bands if you want. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, and we got Liliana, super chatted. Can you make the sun a planet and any planet the sun? Okay, so we're gonna actually save this Super Neptune one. Super Neptune. Uh, it'll be on the Steam Workshop. If you just search Spaceship on Universe Sandbox Workshop, I should show up. So, now we're going to make a sun, make the sun a planet, and any planet the sun. Okay. So, the, we're going to start by making, we're going to do this pause for now. So, if we want the sun to be a planet, we need to turn down its mass. Just till it turns into a gas giant, right? Okay, that's like a brown dwarf. Keep going. Okay, it doesn't need to be that small. Just set its temp set its temperature to zero and see if. Oh, it's like nothing. Oh, it's because there's no light. Duh, because the sun gives off light. Foolsy, make a black hole solar system. We could try that. We could try turning this into a black hole after we do this. Okay, so sun is now a planet. Mason Weston, can you make a planet named Blueberry in honor of my dog? For sure. Okay, um, so the sun is now a planet, and now we need to make a planet the sun. So it's still paused, so it looks like these are all going to escape, but let's turn Earth into the sun. We should just be able to turn up this. Thank you everyone who's donated, it means a lot. Just turn this up till it's as big as the sun, and then it should turn into a star, right? Okay. Okay, that's about the same size as the sun. And then we're going to heat it up. 
like 5,000 Kelvin. That looks about the sun. Okay, now let's see what happens. Okay, not good things. I don't know where the actual sun went. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so the sun is now orbiting Earth, the new sun. Mars is still in orbit. And it looks like a lot of things are gonna get launched into space. Super Neptune's got its own little system going on. What was that Deimos? Yeah, Deimos escaped Mars. Okay, let's just speed up time really, really fast. Can you make two habitable planets be binary? Yeah, we can try that. Okay, this is fast as it'll let me run it. But this is what happens if you turn the Earth into Sun and the Sun into a planet. Pretty cool. Okay, um, next. What's, what was our next suggestion? Pull it up here. Make the largest gas giant ever add custom bands if you want. Okay, let's reopen the solar system. We'll make it like the new planet nine. Random gas giant, we'll put it all the way out here. The largest gas giant ever, but you don't, if you don't want it a brown dwarf, then you want it like 50 Jupiter's mass. That might be too big. Less than that, we don't want it hot. Zero, go cold. Okay, so it's still heating up. It needs to be a little bit smaller. But then we can turn up, okay, perfect. We can turn up its radius still. So it's gonna be really big. Let's turn on a flashlight. Space Rockets program, hello, welcome. Make the sun 10 times bigger. That'd be bad for Earth. Okay, so how big can it get before? Okay, it like shrinks itself. So I think this is about the biggest we can get a gas giant, but that is very big. Like look at Jupiter in comparison. So like, it's not a, it's not a small gas giant. And then let's do some custom bands on it. Oh, it's leaving me. Okay, we're gonna add some bands to it. Bands. We'll do like this many. Let's do like a green one. Greenish blue. Make a neutron star. I accidentally did that in the, when I made every planet a star, I turned Earth into a neutron star on accident. Green and blue here. Beautiful. Okay, we need a name for it. Okay, everyone vote, we need a vote. This is the biggest gas giant in the world that you could make, I guess. And we need a name. So everyone, we'll do a poll actually. I haven't done one of those yet. Oh, thank you. Make a solar system of galaxies that is galaxies revolving around a single massive black hole. <laughs> That's gonna like crash the game, but we'll try it. Uh, we got a couple things, suggestions, um, donations. I'll get to all of them, don't even worry. But we need a name for this now, and we're gonna do a poll. So type your names and I'll type what I see in the poll. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. What was that one? Zeus. Oh, I didn't mean to move that. Okay, we'll put Zeus on the poll too. Boom, okay, there goes the pole.
Everyone vote. Oh, it looks like it's pretty close. Looks like Zeus is pulling ahead. It's still very close between Big Boy Giant and Zeus. Can I vote? No. <laughs> I can't even vote. But what do you guys want? It's still it's still changing slightly. I think it's gonna be Zeus. Oh, biggest bird? <laughs> Slowly. It's so close between all three of them. Groot doesn't not win though. Let's go, Zeus! Yes, let's go! Can you change your vote after you vote? I don't even know. Okay, we're gonna give it like 30 more seconds. Whatever wins, wins. <laughs> it looks like Biggest Bird wins uh, with 2% victory. Hi, it's me again. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> 310 votes. Okay, you guys want Biggest Bird? We'll do Biggest Bird for our giant gas giant here. Boom. Perfect. Biggest bird. Thank you for the donation. Okay, what's our next suggestion? What did we have? Let's see. Make a black hole solar system. Oh yeah, we were gonna turn the sun into a black hole. Radius, turn it down. How low does it need to go? Okay, 1.48 kilometers, and then it turns into a black hole. Which game is it? We're playing Universe Sandbox right now. Is giveaway over? No, once it's at, once we have 500 likes on the stream, we're doing a giveaway. Um, so make sure you like the stream, and join the Discord server. Thank you, Foolsy, for the donation. So yeah, giveaway will be on the Discord server, links in the description, so make sure you join that and like the stream. And once we get it to 500, we're gonna do that giveaway. All right, so the sun is now a black hole and actually everything will stay the same because the mass didn't change, which is actually pretty cool, including our new planet. Where did it go? Biggest bird right here. <laughs> so, we can try turning up the mass slowly and see what happens. Cat909, make a horror planet? Someone said that and I thought it was cool. That is cool. Yeah, we'll make that for sure. Thank you for the donation. Okay, it's at one point. Uh oh, things are happening. I'm slowly turning up the mass. Mercury's orbit's getting tighter and tighter. Same with all the other ones, but they're kind of getting more elliptical. Except Mercury seems to pull in pretty evenly. So we're kind of like condensing the whole solar system. Uh, here comes Saturn, a little bit late. Gonna cross orbits with Jupiter, that's probably not good. Let's keep going. Yeah, it's like condensing the whole system, except that this outer stuff doesn't have enough time to react yet. Oh, okay, I think we blew up Mercury or something. But it seems like it's going okay. Oh, okay, things are blowing up because they're going so fast, I think. Mercury is still alive somehow? Oh, it's like a... Like, what, what even is that? It seems like it, it's a lot better than just slowly turning up. Or it's a lot better than just, like, typing a super high amount. Like, slowly turning it up. You actually can, like bring the orbits in there goes Jupiter right next to it till it gets sucked in yes okay entire solar system was eaten okay what was our next suggestion can you make a planet named blueberry in honor of my dog yes we can do that we'll add it to the solar system again 
Hey, what's going on? I just joined. Uh, basically, we're going through whatever you guys want to do. We're making... Right now, we're making a blueberry planet. For Mason's dog. Okay, random gas giant. We'll make it... We'll make it big. And blue for blueberry. We're gonna need a flashlight. Do around there. Name it blueberry. And we'll get blue colors in here. Rainbow gas giant. We could do that. Four hundred people. Welcome everybody. If you're just joining us, make sure you like the stream because once we get five hundred likes on the stream, we're giving away a copy of Universe Sandbox on the Discord. So make sure you like the stream and join the Discord. The link's in the description. And welcome to the stream. We're just doing your guys' suggestions uh, in Universe Sandbox. Mesa Weston, someone wanted to know if you're family friendly. Yes, I don't, I don't swear or anything. So yes. Can you get Pluto rings? That'd be cool, actually. Okay, here's the blueberry planet. Beautiful. I'm actually gonna save it so we have it from now on. Anytime we want to use the blueberry planet, we have another one. Wait, I think I might have named. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna name this one. Blueberry the dog. There we go. Beautiful. Oh wait, we need a better interface color on it. Perfect, okay. Blueberry planet. Then we got, um, I'm a watermelon watermelon asks, can you make two habitable planets be binary? Yeah, we'll put that in this system too. Let's try to do binary with earth and see if we can make it work. Here's Earth. So let's try to do a rocky planet binary with the Earth. Right about here. So you can see they are actually orbiting each other. Ethan BTW123, make five suns orbit each other, then make a habitable planet orbit one of the suns. <laughs> You guys with your suggestions, I could try. I could probably get it to work. It's just gonna be a little hard, but <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the donation. Well, this already looks like it could be habitable. I don't like the atmosphere color on it. Let's fix this. Okay, a lot better, not all the way. Clouds a little bit more. Yeah, that works. And let's check, is it? Yeah, 29.6. Okay, let's see if it's going to be stable over time. Oh, we need to add Earth's moon just to see how that would play a role in all of this. Uh-oh, that's not going to be good. Here's Earth's moon. Uh, yeah, the moon doesn't like that. <laughs> okay. There we go. Earth and another planet habitable, and they're binary. That'd be cool to, like, if this was real and you, we were, like, on Earth... You know, like land here. And then there was another planet just as far as the moon is. Right there. That'd be cool. Alright, what was our next suggestion? Make a solar system of galaxies that is galaxies revolving around a single massive black hole. Okay, we're going to try that one. This one I will save and upload. We got blueberry and the... We'll call it the blueberry solar system. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. This will be on the workshop. Um, yeah, just search. I mean, you can just search Blueberry Solar System or if you find my account, Space Chip. Yo. Okay, now we're trying to make a solar system of galaxies with a single supermassive black hole in the middle. Okay. Thank you. 
for the dungeon? Oh, was that the one we already saw? Yes. Thank you. Make five suns orbit each other. Habitable one. That'll be hard, but we're going to try it. Okay, 10 million solar masses. Do you think that's a that's big enough? For the... Cat and Island Horror Planet. Yes, we are going to... I think that's next after this one. Bro, it's my first stream. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming. And thank you for the donation. Cool Gaming 365. Okay. Um, I think we need an even more massive black hole than this just because, you know, galaxies are going to be orbiting around it. Okay, here's a... <laughs> thank you for everyone who's donated today. Here's a super map. Let's, like, get a better background so we actually kind of, like, see. That one's ugly. It's, but Yeah, here we go. We can see now. Okay, so here's a super black hole. All the donations. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> black hole, 10 million. Okay, now it's really six galaxy solar mass. Three light years across. Okay, so now we should be able to put a random galaxy in orbit. If my game doesn't crash. Okay, we're going to have to make time go super, super fast. This is why you're the best streamer, Blueberry. Thank you. Okay, so you can see this galaxy is spinning with all of its stars in there around its black hole, which is now orbiting. Uh oh, it's pulling. I knew it, wouldn't get, it wasn't going to be massive enough. Oh, it's like going to be binary. Well, this isn't great. I think this needs to be even bigger. Okay, well, it's going to eat that one. This I did not think this through. Redo, restart, restart. <laughs> I like that background because I can see the black holes good. Let's turn that one back on. We need like a super big black hole, like even way bigger than what we did. Okay, mass. Okay, that's gotta be, that's gotta be good enough. Can you make a plane with 100% life? That's actually really hard to do. I have a tutorial on that a long, I made it a long time ago. Okay, wait, so here's the Milky Way now compared in size to our new black hole. So let's, I'm pretty sure the orbit will be fine now because it's just, it's so big. You can only see the, the black hole of the Milky Way. You can't see the actual, um, like the, the stars in it. Okay, this is as fast as I can run it. Here it is. Oh boy, it's like glitching out. Sagittarius A in the middle. The whole Milky Way is going around this black hole. And let's try to add another one. I mean, my computer can't really run a lot of galaxies. Messier 85. No, let's do Andromeda. And then let's do... Oh, this is the biggest galaxy ever, right? I see 1101. Ever discovered. But there they go. And if you turn on the orbit lines, you can see they will orbit. So it is kind of like a galaxy solar system now. So there's that one. Let's, let's upload this one, too. Galaxy Solar System. Boom. On the workshop also. These will all be on the workshop. Four hundred fifty-three people here. Welcome, everyone. Uh, we're at 421 likes. Once we get 500 likes on the stream, we're giving away a copy of Universe Sandbox. So if you haven't liked the stream already, make sure you do that. Um, and our next suggestion was... Oh, make the horror planet. Okay. We're gonna make a horror planet. Let's make it... Let's start a new... We'll start a new system. Give it a star. We'll do like a mini horror system. We could even do like a red sun. And that'll make the planet red. Random Rocky. This will be our horror planet. 
Oh yeah, just look at that. Like, the actual color of the planet is this, but because of the star, it turns into that, which is a lot scarier. We could add, like, water and then make the water a different color. Like, do, like, orange water or something. Oh yeah, look at that. This is gonna be cool. We could do it, let's do an atmosphere too. Oh, it's hard to see it, but it is there. Even the white clouds would look red. So maybe we do like a blue, blue cloud. Just so we can start to see it, you know? Make Jupiter a brown dwarf. What time of the day is it for you? It's 9.36 a.m. right now for me. I do streams at this time every Saturday. So be here every week. This is a pretty scary planet. Let's add, I'm gonna add rings to it. And the ring should be red also just from the star. Yeah, okay. Horror ring particle, that's pretty funny. Yeah, they like turn red just from the star. The star, like, it's almost like artificially makes things red. I like it though. Okay, here's the horror planet. We're gonna save this one too. I'm gonna have so many workshop items just from this stream. Okay, that should be up on the workshop soon. All right, then we got a suggestion from Ethan BTW. Make five suns orbit each other and then make a habitable planet orbit one of the suns. Okay, five, planet, five suns orbit each other. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a binary relationship for the first two suns. Like this, and then we do a uh, Maybe a smaller one out here. So we're gonna need to see how these interact. Um, yeah, get a smaller one. Wait, we need to select the barycenter. So this is the point that they are both orbiting around. Then get Proxima Centauri to orbit that. Then do a binary of Proxima Centauri with another Proxima Centauri. I don't know about this. And then bear center of all of these. Is it here? Okay, it's right there. So they're orbiting around that point. And then we put one final Proxima Centauri orbiting that. Boom, five star system. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever made that. And then make a habitable planet orbit one of them. Okay, we'll do this far one, this will be the easiest. Turn on our habitable ring. Okay, then we want a planet in here. Okay, now we're gonna make this one. Oh, is this already habitable? Looks pretty nice. Cat909, Rainbow Gas Giant. Cool idea from regular chat, also my last donation, sorry. Don't be sorry, thank you so much for the donations. Yeah, we will get that Rainbow Gas Giant. That's a good suggestion. Thank you so much for the donations. Okay, water looks good on here. It probably is habitable, or close to it. Zero percent, okay, so what do we need to do? Oh, okay. Temperature maybe? Why is it three? Th oh, that's of the, okay. The planet, 60% habitable. Thank you for the donation again. So yeah, there's a habitable planet orbiting a star which orbits four stars in a five star system. Beautiful, that's awesome.
Okay, let's save this one too. Habitable planet in a five star system. Share it on the workshop for sure. Oh, live. Awesome. All right, and then we have the rainbow gas giant. Let's put that in the system actually. That's cool. Put it here. So for a rainbow gas giant, turn on the flashlight so we can see that. Five hundred likes. Oh, did we hit it? Yeah, we did. Okay. Right after I finish this, we're gonna do a giveaway. So make sure that every, every if you want to join the giveaway, you have to be in the Discord server because uh, that's where we do it. And the link's in the description. So join that and then go to the giveaways channel right now and when i do giveaways i don't uh, especially on streams i don't ping my discord so you guys are the only people who will know that it's happening and we'll come back to this rainbow gas giant after that it's alt tab over there we'll get it open discord okay here's the someone self promoted me that's funny Giveaways, right here. Everyone go to... Okay, you can't really see. This channel here. And then we're going to do... Slash giveaway create. We're going to go run it for three minutes. Prize is a Universe Sandbox Steam Key. So all you got to do to enter is click on this. Anyone who clicks on that will be entered, and one winner will be announced, and then they will get a code that they can use on Steam, and then get Universe Sandbox on your computer for free. You can add reactions to this one too. We got 70 entries. How many? What's the best we've gotten? I pinged my Discord for this one, and this one got 155. So we'll see. Everyone, join. Two minutes left on that. About 90 entries. And we'll pull this up here. I'm gonna get that key ready. We got one minute left on that. Good. I'll show I'll show the winner. One minute left. If you're just joining the stream, you have one minute to join the Discord server and enter the giveaway. seconds here we go be me please tell you what I'm gonna enter and if I win I'll give away five steam keys did I enter oh I did I doubt I'll win but we'll see here we go five Four, three, two, one. Okay, it's over. Who won? At Eric, congrats.
Okay, uh, let me get- I'm gonna shoot that code over. And then we'll continue with this rainbow planet. Alright, okay, let's get back to the stream. So, rainbow, rainbow, uh, gas giant. I like the way this looks, but I don't like, I feel like the yellow section's too big on it. So I'm gonna double, or maybe even triple the, the bands, and then we can start to even like fade it. So like, it goes through the colors nicer. Like this. I feel like it always makes the middle section a little bit too big. We can add more that fade to blue because we don't need that many purples. This is going to be beautiful. Perfect. Look at that. That's a pretty good rainbow gas giant. We'll name it Rainbow Giant. But now for our interface, I think red will probably make it look the best. It does look good. Make a potato planet with rings. You got it. Potato planet. What well, looks like a potato? What's the closest thing we have to a potato? We can do a pumpkin watermelon. Okay, we make a brown watermelon. That's going to be our potato. Can we change the color? Tint. Yes, brown. It's a potato now, what do you mean? Potato. <laughs> Make it a lot bigger than it is. Sixteen Earths? That seems good. <laughs> oh, that's with the flashlight. It's pretty dark. And we want rings on it, so let's give it rings. There's our potato planet with rings now. <laughs> Wait, I want the potato to be like... Uh... Like facing up, you know, like a, a potato. I guess that makes the rings vertical too. Oh! I guess I broke the rings. 
<laughs> can it like can it support rings? Maybe it can't because it. Oh, maybe it needs to be spinning. We'll add a rotational period on it. What's it made out of? Hydrogen. <laughs> rotational period. Four days. Okay, it's now rotating. <laughs> Okay, rings this time. Stable, perfect. Potato planet. Earth plus potato. Sounds good to me. Let's save this and then launch it at Earth and see what happens. Okay, we're going to Earth now. We're launching a potato, a giant potato, that's really a watermelon at Earth. Search for our potato. Here it is. You can see it actually is very big. I'm actually going to make it smaller just so we can get a better collision. Because I don't want it to just like eat the Earth. We're gonna make it about this big. Okay, here it comes. Giant potato versus Earth. I'm invested. It's still bigger than Earth, even though the mass isn't as big. Solve world hunger, let's go. Basically, yeah. Everyone will have potato or watermelon. Okay. Here we go. I'll slow it down right as it's contacting. I wonder what will happen, actually. Oh. <laughs> it just ate the earth. The potato ate it. Now, it's just a bigger potato now. Oh my gosh. Cat 909. Okay, really my last donation this time. Potato plus earth plus watermelon plus pigeon plus teapot. All the size of earth. Yes. Okay, so if we want the potato the size of earth, we're going to set it to one earth. We're going to pause time. And then into that, we're going to launch... Um, earth. But we're going to keep it paused for now. And then... Plus a regular watermelon. The size of Earth. Radius 1 Earth. Okay. <laughs> and then in also into that... Pigeon the size of Earth. And a teapot the size of Earth. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Where's the teapot? Right here. Teapot one Earth. Okay, here we go. They're all colliding with the potato. Okay, here we go. Ah, okay, watermelon ate that Earth. They're like not fully combined. Oh, it spit it back out? Wait, did we just create more mass than we started with? Maybe. Oh no, it like ate the mass off of the earth. <laughs> we need them to collide! Potato and watermelon. Collide, come on. Okay, something's happening to earth. I'm gonna speed up time and see what happens. Are they in orbit now? Did we create moons? Oh boy. Okay, the pigeon. We need to zero the velocity. Or just move it closer. Is that like, it's like the mass isn't pulling enough. Zero your velocity and then we'll see what happens. Oh, it just is left behind. 
Okay, potato. We can make you collide, right? Like that. What it? Like, I feel like the human, the human objects are buggy. Like, that wouldn't happen. It just, like, left. It's, like, hard to get collisions when they're that big. But let's launch the earth into the giant watermelon and see what happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look, it, like, spins it. Whatever way I do it, it'll spin that way. So we could spin it really fast if we, like, launched them all this way. Right? Okay, how far out? Oh, yeah, look at that. About this, and then we could slow it down this way. Chew cake first. Thank you for the donation. Can you check out my solar system? Put it on Discord. We have a spot for Universe Sandbox suggestions. And um, I'll look at it. And if it's good, yeah, I'll even maybe do a video on it. Thank you for the donation. Okay. Um, okay, we need new suggestions. I'm just shooting Earth into this watermelon. Make a system where the small, where the star is the smallest. <laughs> okay, we'll try it. Okay, star, sun. We did do a tiny system for a video. I don't remember how small I could make it. Okay, that's, I mean, we could do a brown dwarf system. Technically that's even smaller. Let's do a brown dwarf. Okay, we don't want you ejecting your mass. Good, okay. I feel like it can get even, it can get smaller when it's on a, a, a real star versus a, okay, wait, we need it. 0.5 suns, lock that, and then turn it down the radius. Okay, about there. Before it turns into a black hole, heat it back up. Oh, 5,000. Boom, tiny star. And it is tiny. Here's Earth compared to our tiny star. Let's just put the Earth here and see what happens. <laughs> it's getting ripped apart. Fire a super powerful laser at Saturn. We could try to melt Saturn with a laser. Let's do it. Let's put Saturn in this system. Okay, that's like it's accretion disk. We'll just leave it there. Saturn we'll put out here. Thank you for the donation and thank you to everyone who's donated today. Okay, so let's add the rings because we need the rings for the full effect. Saturn's rings. Boom. Okay, Saturn and Saturn's rings. And then we're going to use a laser to try to melt it. So if we just set it to auto, nothing really happens. But let's set it to Galactic Empire Super Laser. So this is supposed to be the same laser that the Death Star uses in Star Wars. And you can see it, it does something. It's heating it up. But I think we need even more power. 10 times. Okay, now it's it's doing st stuff. It's definitely heating up more now. Um, what if we like shoot it through the rings? Do the rings melt? Oh, I don't think it like tracks that is actually like hitting the rings. Yeah. Like, it'd be cool if I went like this and it would like hit the rings, but I guess it doesn't. Okay, we need to speed up time because I'm just gonna melt it on accident. Oh, so I did mess up the rings somehow. It kind of looks cool though. Oh, whoa, they're like, look, look at that. And they're like stable like that. How does that even happen? I mean, I don't know how stable they really are, but that's crazy. How does the laser, it's probably like the gas is coming off 
affect it. Floppy rings? Yeah. Hey, just came back. What did I miss? We we're trying to melt Saturn with lasers, and then this happened to which rings? It's pretty cool. I think this is enough to heat it up, but this won't melt it. We need to melt it. We need more power. Ten times that. Okay, this has got to melt it, right? Maybe? How are the rings even like that? Like, what is happening? I want to, like... I don't know. How do I see them better? Okay, let's lock its radius and do it ten times again. We're so close. It's, like, about to melt. I can feel it. One more ten times. I feel like it should be dead by now. What? How much more do we need? How is Saturn so, like... It doesn't die. I'm literally shooting it with so much power right now. Is it impossible to melt? More. More power. Come on. Okay, well now it's like glitching. So I don't even know. <laughs> Good time, hi there, welcome! Make a brown door system? This one was going to be, and then I made it not. <laughs> I think it's undefeatable. It's like lagging by how much power I'm trying to use on it. Okay. Hello, I love the stream. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Create a star that is 1 billion Kelvin. I feel like... Oh, look. If you look... Okay, look right here. Watch this part. I don't know if you can see it if you're like on a phone. But it says, not a number Celsius. I'm literally making it so hot that it's not even a number. And it won't die. Saturn's invincible. Invincible to lasers, I guess. I'm sick of this. I'm gonna launch Jupiter into it just to... Just to show it. Boom. Yeah, that's what's up. Did it miss? What? How did I miss? You're not missing this time. Yes, get it. That's right. Okay. Saturn's dead now. <laughs> what game is this? Uh, Universe Sandbox. Give it 18 moons. What, this new Jupiter? Let's do a moon swarm. Moon swarm. Oh, I didn't mean to add it to the fragment. Uh-oh. Boom, moons. <laughs> Wait, are they Earth's moons? Oh, they are. Oh, but they're 15 times bigger than Earth. <laughs> I guess it goes off the size. But yeah, it's not looking good. We're just like making a new system here. Let's just like add a bunch of stuff and then see what ends up after. I think that's 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 how it works, right? I want to select Jupiter, not this cloud. Saturn's rings too. Oh my gosh, this system is, and this sun is only half a kilometer. Oh no, half half the mass of the sun with 39 kilometer radius. Make the observable universe. Okay, we're just gonna add a galaxy. All this will look tiny compared to any galaxy. Yeah, see? Boom, there's a galaxy, and here's all the stuff we were just doing. Tiny. Okay, how many... There's probably, what, a, a trillion galaxies in the observable universe? I got this ready. One, two, three, four, five, six... How many till the game, like, crashes out of anger? That's a good amount of galaxies. Okay, the game is- I'm getting, like, two frames per second. Nah, bro's gonna sacrifice his PC. 
yeah, it's not it's not looking good. Okay, let's play time. I can't even run it faster than six hours per second. Oh, I like the way this one looks. Okay, I'm gonna have to clear this. If I even can. Nothing, it's like frozen now. Come on. New, empty. And then it'll be nice and smooth. Ah, oh, yes, okay, much better. Make a hundred galaxies collide? I couldn't even put a hundred galaxies in a system without my computer wanting to die. Replace the sun with a black hole and replace all the planets with sun. You can do control and end to clear quickly. Control N. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Learn something every day. I saw someone say replace the sun with Beetlejuice. So we're gonna do that. Here's the sun. Beetlejuice, so if you actually look up in the sky at night and you see Orion, his top, the top left star, it's like orange. That's Beetlejuice, it's a real star. Here it is though, it's very big. Here's the solar system compared to Beetlejuice. Um, so we just like click on the sun. We could replace object with Beetlejuice. And this will do like exactly where it is. Okay, here we go. Replace. <laughs> Swallows up everything up to Jupiter. And then Jupiter gets sucked in. Creates like a, a big ripple on it. Like at least it didn't do it. Nothing. Uranus goes in. All of these are going to go in. I'm pretty sure the entire system... Will get sucked in. Oh, Sedna, highly elliptical orbit. Sedna's the only thing that survives. For now. We can make that not happen. What? It went through! It totally just went through Beetlejuice. Did you not see that? I'm not crazy, right? It was like that and it went through it. If it comes out. Okay, so now it's gone. <laughs> Beetlejuice, the new king of the solar system. Make a quasi star. How big is a quasi star? They are very big. I know that. Quasi star. Size. 10 billion kilometers. Okay, we're gonna make one right now. This star is... We need kilometers, not EU. Um, 6.17 e to the 8th. I don't know. 10 billion is gonna be 10... Can I type commas? 0, 0, 0. Okay, that's 10 million. So 10 billion would be that. I don't think it can take what I just did. Okay, so 10. I got this. Ready? 10 and then 000, zero, zero. that's 10,000 that's 10 million that's 10 billion go boom that's how big a quasar star would be that's crazy C collide milky way and andromeda galaxy yeah we'll try it okay wait let's see let's make this hotter quasar star that's how big it would be compared to the sun Very, very small. <laughs> okay, Milky Way and Andromeda collision. Milk Dromeda. That's actually gonna happen in a long time, but. So we're gonna simulate it. So let's start with the Milky Way. We're gonna put it here. We can't have the Milky Way as the background and the, uh, and in the, <laughs> the game. Okay, and then Andromeda too. Wait, what are these? Oh, colors. Okay. Andromeda now Launch into the Milky Way. I don't know the actual like Like what angle, but we're gonna we're gonna do that We're gonna have to speed it up like billions of years per second to even just see movement 
Okay, we'll turn off the orbit lines. Or, yeah. Okay. Here it comes. Milky Way and Andromeda collision. So it looks like Andromeda's like getting pulled apart a little bit. Um, and it's like getting funneled through the Milky Way. Oh, the black holes got very close and kind of... Basically everything in the, the galaxies is getting shot off into space. No more galaxy. You're like rogue systems. Wait, what is this ring in the middle? Oh, I don't know what that was. That's what would happen. I mean, I don't know. That's probably not what's going to happen. <laughs> make a solar system, put a put a pigeon in the center. Let's make a, a pigeon bigger than the sun. So we get a pigeon. Where are the pigeons? Right here. Pigeon. And then mass. One sun. And the radius is three times the sun. I gotta zoom out. I'm inside of it right now. There we go. And here's the sun for comparison. So yeah, pretty big pigeon. <laughs> oh. Let's do binary. Is that too close? Did I put them too close together? No, that looks good. <laughs> Pigeon and the sun are binary now. Could you imagine just seeing a giant pigeon like that in the sky every day? That'd be funny. Make an eight ball collide with Earth. We could shoot an eight ball into Earth at the speed of light. Let's do it. Okay, let's put Earth in here. I mean, I don't know how well it's going to work. You know, with the whole... We're going to need Barricenter. Cause they're the same mass. Okay, bear center, and then we can put Earth around the bear center. Around here it should be fine. Okay, and then someone said launch an eight ball into it, so let's do it. Eight ball into Earth at the speed of light, and see what happens. So it's very small. I'm zooming in right now. There we go. Speed. 1L for light year. Light speed. Okay. Yeah. Let's set it to real time. Probably even less than real time. Oh! I, oh, okay. <laughs> it collided. I guess those are all the fragments. Those tiny little, like it would break into a million pieces. How are you today, Space Chip? I'm doing good. Thank you, British Cat. Welcome to the stream. Holy smokes. I know. Okay, there's a shockwave. I guess those fragments were like instantaneous. Uh, so it looks like Europe is dead. Some of Asia, some of Africa. But me over here in America, I'm fine. Will I be fine though? It looks like it only went there, so I think I would be fine. I do want to see like the aftermath though. All the it like broke into tiny fragments that spread everywhere <laughs> and made like squares. I guess it's too fast for the game. Replace Proxima Centauri B with Earth. I think the Proxima Centauri system. Does it have the planets in it? Let's see. Proxima Centauri. Oh, it does. Proxima Centauri B right here. So this is actually the system that's closest to our system. So we're going to replace this with Earth. And could it live here? I guess that's the question. We're at 97.7 chance of life speed up over time it's starting to go down slowly after years and years so I guess at first it would be okay oh it's going back up 
So yeah, it does seem like it's pretty good for life right here. It's a lot closer to it, the star, but oh, it needs to be because Proximus Star is a lot smaller. So yeah, Proximus Atari's there, but it's also in a, a system with um, the other... It's a three-star system. Alpha Centauri triple system. So Proximus Atari is actually down here. And then it's in an orbit with or Alpha Centauri A and B. More you know. Make a 13 star system. Just like what? Put 13 stars in a system. Oh, I got you. 13 star system. First try. I know what to do. Black hole. And then we'll do random known star. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 star system, perfect. <laughs> Make two stars collide, that's a good one. Let's try it. Beetlejuice versus another Beetlejuice. See what happens. Gotta speed up time. They take a long time to get close. We're at one year every second. That's how slow they're going. Or that's just how big they are that they need to go that slow. They look like they're going that slow. Here we go. Beetlejuice versus Beetlejuice collision. They go, they're gonna touch. Are they touching? Are they, are they, oh yeah. <laughs> well, it's happening. Something's happening. This one's turning lighter and I feel like this one's getting darker. Ah, oh, okay, supernova, that one lost. <laughs> this one wins. Oh, I guess they both supernova. Double supernova. I'm zooming out as fast as I can. It's so big. It's probably because it's growing. Zoom, zoom. Okay. Oh, it's because I wasn't focused on anything. Double supernova. They're like kind of overlapping. They're not touching, they're kissing. Hey, I just subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. Go to another universe. <laughs> I don't think you can leave the universe in Universe Sandbox. It's just our Universe Sandbox. Blow up a black hole. We'll try it. We did do that for a video. And it's a short too, but let's try it. Sagittarius A. I think it just goes supernova, if I remember right. Boom. Yeah. Supernova looks pretty cool though. They did a good job with that. Shoot a pigeon at 100 times the speed of light at Jupiter. <laughs> okay. Go to Jupiter. Now the question is, will it kill Jupiter? We'll find out. Okay, here's Jupiter. So we need a pigeon. Pigeon. So if a pigeon somehow flew super fast into Jupiter at 100 times the speed of light, what would happen? 
speed. 100 times speed of light. Yeah, we're gonna want like one millisecond per second. Yeah, this is one millisecond every second, and this is how fast it's going towards Jupiter. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna watch, see what happens. Okay, nothing happened at first, but nothing, no time has passed, so let's speed up time. Okay, there comes the shockwave. Shockwave still going. Is it going to be completely fine? Let's turn on surface lock so we can watch it. That's all? I'm disappointed. We need a bigger pigeon, I think. Okay, pigeon part two. <laughs> Rip pigeon 2023 to 2023. This man deserves more subscribers. Thank you. What are we at right now? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I should have put the live counter on the stream. I didn't this time. We're at 82.5. Thank you. At this rate, we're going to hit 100K in like two weeks, which is crazy. Okay, so Pigeon, we're going to need you to be bigger. We don't need surface lock anymore. One kilogram. How about like a lot more than that? It's 88 kilometers big. So, I mean, we need something for scale. Okay, here's a Tesla. And it's not, you're not even gonna be able to see the Tesla. We need something, okay, like the moon. I think you can probably see the scale with the moon. Yeah, okay. So you can see how big it is compared to the moon. I mean, you can't really see it. It's not, it's not small. Like one of the big craters on the moon, that's how big it is. You could like see it from Earth if it was where the moon is. Anyway, now we do 100 times the speed of light and I think it'll do some stuff this time. 100 L. Okay, we're gonna want it one millisecond again. One millisecond. Here it goes, on its way to Jupiter, here we go, part two. Here comes. Okay. <laughs> well, a lot more happened that time. Even in just one millisecond. Instantly, most of the surface is, is blue. Is that all? <laughs> it just got really hot for a second. Wow. Jupiter's surprisingly re resilient. Fly into Pluto. Is Pluto here in this system? I think so. Pluto. Here's Pluto. Uh, fly into it. I mean, this isn't space engine, so we can't like, I mean, we can land on it, but it's not the same. Like that's landing on it. Oh, wait, what just happened? Am I inside of it? What? I don't even know what happened there. So there's Pluto. Let's make Pluto a planet. I'm just gonna make it bigger until it says planet. There we go, planet. It's now a planet. We did it. <laughs> Fly in Phobos. Let's go look at Phobos and Deimos. Mars is here. So you actually have to add them. It doesn't load them in to start, but if you press this, then it shows them. Okay, here's Mars. This is the Valles Marineras right here. I wonder if you just like, does it have a good elevation map? Like, will that fill up with water first? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, terraformed Mars, basically. I bet it has a chance of life just from that. Point four. Make a pigeon, but with rings. 
Go back to the mega system you made. Let's see if it's on here still. The one I made for the video. It's gonna be back here, I think. Stefferson 218 Mega System. This is the one I made in the video. I believe. Yeah, here it is. I don't know the, the status of it. The sun's out here. Oh yeah, the whole solar system. We put that out here. I haven't been in the system since I made that video. Mega planet. Beautiful. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Make every star collide. It will make a big bang. We're going to recreate the big bang. Let's put a bunch of stars together and see what happens. We'll just pause time and we'll just like... Okay, if my game doesn't crash, this could be cool. We somehow got one that just is going to eat them all. So, <laughs> we're just going to keep placing. Just a matter of time before we get another one like that. Maybe we should do stills instead of orbits. So it doesn't try to add velocity where we don't need it. Okay, it's already lagging and it's still paused. Okay, I'm going to play it. And go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's still a lot of stars. Okay. Are they gonna? Oh, okay. There's another supernova. Big bang. Yeah, big bang right here. The new big bang. It's very bright in here. I guess these stars are gonna mostly survive. Oh, a black hole. We somehow made a black hole. Probably the supernova left it. Uh, let's just make this one a lot bigger so we can get some more of these stars to collide, maybe. I don't know how big its sphere influence is. Oh, well, it just, like, ate it all. Eat everything. Whoa, the supernova and the black hole, like, mixed. Look at that. It's kind of cool. I actually want to save this. Black hole supernova. It'll be on the workshop if you want it. How do you land on planets? You press C on your keyboard. Letter C. I mean, it's not that cool yet, but in the future, it could be pretty cool. Can I land on the black hole? Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. Now we can look inside the black hole and see it. Wait, are we inside the black hole right now? I think we are. Yeah. <laughs> look, all around, and we can... We're like a whole other thing inside of the black hole. That's funny. And it even, like, plays. Like, it doesn't suck it up. Crazy. Combine the sun and a black hole? I wonder what would happen if they're the same mass. Oh, I accidentally threw Deimos. Don't know how that happened. Okay, black hole and sun, the same mass. Who's gonna win? That's the question. Oh, the black hole's like eating it. Okay, we need to like zero the mass or zero the velocity on both. And then they should go straight into each other. Okay, here we go. At this point now, the black hole has more mass. So I think, I actually don't know what will happen. Is it not gonna hit it directly again? I want it to hit it directly. You go here. There we go. Yep, <laughs> it just eats it. And then we have all these like, what, star particles? That are left. That's what happens. All right, we're gonna do one more thing before we end the stream. 
I'm going to make a gas giant and I'm gonna put like a hundred moons on it and you guys I'm just gonna type every single name that I see and then we'll put it on the workshop so you guys can see it in the game if you want uh, we've done this on the last couple streams and it's been good so we're gonna do it so I just do random small moon and then I'm just gonna go like this let's turn on orbit so I can see them still so start typing what names you want for a moon. Uh, that's probably good right there. And you might get your the name typed. And then that'll be it for the stream today. <laughs> Josh. Absolutely. Takes me a minute to open each one. Ah, it's going fast. I see glorious. <laughs> Doge. Earth. Someone wants a moon named Earth. Whopper. Okay, we're going, uh... I, I can't even read the slush. I see that one. Planet nine. If you're just joining us, type names for a moon and you may get an, a moon named after whatever you type. Sticks. It's a good band. SpongeBob. Mango food. We'll name it mango food. Cheese. Ohio. Oh, I knew that was coming. We've gone that every single time I've done these streams, we've named something Ohio. Groot. Rippers. Oh, I can't read the Waffle House. Okay, I knew that was coming too. <laughs> chip. We'll name one Chip. Florida. Put it in Steam Workshop. I will. This will go in the workshop after for anyone who wants it. McDonald's. Yes. The Big Bang. White Cheddar. <laughs> White cheddar. Okay, I accidentally did like a little binary thing here. That'll be okay. Michigan. And with Michigan, we're getting the Mun. <laughs> Minecraft. Pigeon. Pigeon. Rush. Atlas the cat. <laughs> Mars, thank you for the donation. I'll give you a moon. Mars. Roblox. Sounds about right. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, this one. Stevenson 218. 
for a moon. <laughs> Chocolate chip. Got okay, here. Sweet home Alabama. Absolutely. Spaceship. I'll give myself one. <laughs> Cup of soup. Oh boy. Cup of soup. Thank you for the donation, Wasp12B. I don't know if you guys are suggesting names or you want me to go there, uh, but I'm typing names for these moods. <laughs> Space Noodles. Llama. Cereal. Okay, last two right here. We need good ones for these. Frog. That's a good one. Okay, last one. Is it the last one? Or did I put some over there? Oh yeah, this is the last one, yeah. Cheesecake. I like that one. Boom. Okay, so now let me name the planet. Chat names moons. Perfect. Okay, so this, if you got your moon named, congratulations. And if you didn't, come back next week and we'll do it again. <laughs> Um, we're going to name it chat names a lot of moons Okay, this will be on workshop too. Thank you guys for coming to the stream today. Um, all of those can be found on my steam page It's been a good stream um, I'll actually put the link to my I'll put the link to this one in chat And if you want the rest of them, just go to my workshop page. And I put it. Oh, okay. Okay, the link is in chat now. Thank you for the donation, Yuri Unique Merodia. Thank you guys for coming today. Uh, it's been fun. Look out for new videos this week. Thanks for the great stream. Thank you for coming, Black and 4K. Uh, yeah, three three new videos this week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like every week. And then new stream next Saturday. So look out for that. Okay, bye everyone. Thanks for coming. I'm gonna quit the game here. It's been fun. I'll see you guys next week.